Hello, welcome back to a new video. So today I want to show you my tips and tricks to playing Lily in Tekken 8. Lily is probably not one of the easiest characters to play, but she can be very rewarding. And I want to show you some things I learned that it really improved my gameplay. So Lily is kind of a defensive character. She focuses on very powerful kicks. The problem is these kicks kind of take a long time to actually perform and you risk getting jabbed or punched in the face if you're trying to do kicks. So at the beginning of the match what I used to do was I used to spam attacks because I was trying to get lucky and try and get some quick hits in the beginning of the match which sometimes you can get if you're lucky and the enemy's a bit of a noob but that's kind of a bad and risky way of starting the match. What you want to do when the match starts is you want to back off and start guarding or crouching or maybe doing some side steps like that to try and get a feel of what your enemy's like. Is he aggressive? Is he also defensive? Is he a noob? You can get a sense of what their playstyle is like by backing off and giving some space in between you. So in practice mode you can see at the bottom left there's something called attack startup frames and that basically shows you how quick it takes to perform a move. So the fastest attack you have for Lily is probably one and also two that has an attack startup frame of 10 which is probably the fastest attack you can have. So at the beginning of the match you don't really want to rush in and spam attacks although if that is what you want to do the safest and quickest combos to do in the beginning are 1-1 one, one, does a quick double jab and 1-2 very quick. This um, number one jab is a 10 startup frame number two jab it's also 10 so those are very quick so you can do a 1-1-3 one, one, which is a quick combo or a 1-2-3 which does a low kick or a 1-2-4 which does a very powerful kick so those are good very quick combos if your enemy is really quick like Hawa Wang or whatever his stupid name is uh, and also Victor and Steve they do really quick jabs and if you try and start off with a kick like that or like that. So these are very slow kicks. I mean, look at this. That's a 30 startup frame. You'll never get that. You'll never pull that off if they're jabbing you because the jabs just be way faster than any of these kicks Liddy has. So these kicks, they're pretty powerful, but they do expose you to a lot of vulnerability if the enemy is just trying to quick jab you like that. The quick jabs will always hit you in the face before you get to pull off any of these kicks. So you really got to be careful with the kicks and only do them when the enemy is down and safe and it's safe to do a kick so you want to play it safe and stick to these jabs like that until you have an opportunity to whip out a, a big kick like that or or like that or like that these kicks are powerful but they are very dangerous and risky for you so what I recommend is when the match begins you kind of back off you go into defensive modes do some side steps you can also do feisty rabbits like that which is back and three or back and four, you do these spins. And if you hold down three whilst doing the back spin, you can actually do two spins like that, or back and four, hold down four or hold down three and she'll do two of them. Now this is very useful. There's a pretty good combo you can do that launches them and then you can then do some combos on them. So you do back and three and three again, and then two like this and that will launch them. And it's pretty reliable. Sometimes they do block the two and ruins the whole thing but a lot of enemies I mean a lot of other players don't know how to block that or they don't expect it so you do back and three and then two and then you can do a one and two to do a three hit combo for 53 damage or you can do a different kind of combo like this one so that's a five hit for 55 damage it is three two three it does a nice little three hit combo she has some other launches but the problem is they take a long time to do so you've got down right two like that but it's a 16 startup frame it's pretty slow you won't get to pull that off if the enemy's right in your face jabbing you like that all the time you won't be able to do that so you need some distance like maybe around here is good distance to be able to do that maybe you like stun them a little bit stun them like that and then do it or you can do a right up and three which does a high kick but that's also kind of slow 15 so these are 16 and 15 launchers, they're pretty slow. And then you also got this one, a 17 startup frame, it's also very slow. So I found the most reliable way to launch them is by doing this. Because I usually don't expect that launch from, from the low pose like that. 
So when I have successfully launched them, my favorite combo to do is probably the spin somersault kicks. So for example, I do the back thing like that, and then I, let me try it again. I do the back thing and then I do the uppercuts and then I do these somersaults with the back kick and I keep spamming the back kick because it does pretty good damage. And then sometimes I'll do this, down three, four, which is a pretty good way of kicking them. So this down right three, four held together like, um, like that is really good, really useful, but it is dangerous. If you try to do that when the enemy is trying to quick jab you, it's very dangerous to do. So I only recommend doing that spinning somersault when you've knocked the enemy down. So for example, you do this and now you can do it safely and do some back kicks. So that's a very useful way. She's got this jumping somersault, which is like a grab where you land on the shoulders. And I found the best follow-up move to be right and four. So let me show you. So you do up and three, four together. And then you keep spamming right and four. And it will always do that middle kick, which is pretty powerful for a total of 49 damage. You can do other combos, maybe like this. And it will do around the same damage, but it's harder to do. And there's more risk of you accidentally mistiming the combo. So I always do... I always do up and three, four, and after that I do right and four, and I just keep spamming it. But the best thing about it is after you've done the kick, you can then link into the somersaults like that and do back kicks and do that as well. So you can do a pretty powerful combo if you can pull this off and do the kick, because they'll kind of bounce off the ground. You can see them bouncing. Watch. He bounces, so it gives you small opportunities for time to do the somersault kicks which are my favorite but unfortunately the somersault thing is kind of tricky to pull off it only works if the enemy's right in front of you so if they're kind of far back like like that it won't connect and if you're this far back it will connect but it won't do the landing on the shoulders thing so you have to be right in the enemy's face so it's kind of risky because all they have to do is back off and then they'll dodge if they can because it's quite telegraphed as well you can kind of obviously see it's coming and then you just have to back off to avoid it. So it is a bit of a risky move, but if you put it off, uh, the reward in the amount of damage you can do on them afterwards is pretty good. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is how to get up off the ground once you've been knocked down. So I'm against the bot right now, and obviously he knows I'm on the ground, so he's only gonna do attacks that hits me. But the thing is, when you go up against real players, especially if they're noob players, once they've knocked you down, they kind of get cocky and overconfident, and they'll start trying to spam more combos, expecting you to be spamming the buttons to get up as quickly as possible. I do not recommend trying to spam attacks to get up as quickly as possible, because what happens is, as soon as you get up, they've already started doing like a new combo, expecting you to be getting up straight away. So what I do is, when I get knocked down, I just kind of lie on the ground for a bit to see what they do. And you've got two, you've got a few options. Number one, you can get straight back up and block like that. Or you could press one to roll out the way if they're trying to do some kind of attack like that. So you could roll out the way a bit. But what I like to do is I like to see if they're going to spam combos. And once they've finished their combo and missed everything, I will then jump up like that and kick them in the face and then do some quick jabs and try and regain composure and try and knock them down like that and do some kind of combo of my own. Knowing how to get up well is very important because some of the really good players you'll go up against, they will just constantly knock you down and they might actually just take 50% of your health in one juggle and you might only have one chance to get up well and if you screw up the getting up part, you'll just get juggled again. And I've had times when I went from full health all the way down to 0% health and I couldn't even stand up because the enemy was so damn good. The problem with trying to get up as soon as possible is it's kind of predictable. If you just stay on the ground, you're very unpredictable because then they don't know when you're going to get up and they'll kind of screw up. They might try to do some kind of low combo to kick you on the ground or they might anticipate you getting up and start trying to do a mid combo and then you can just kind of surprise them by suddenly getting up and doing some kind of low kick like that. Okay, so we do some real matches against real people. So when the beginning of the match starts, you don't want to rush in. You want to kind of be defensive and try and trick him into attacking you. So you can then get out of the way and then do a counter attack. And then also focus on doing quick short jabs to try and 
find where his weak point is, try and do some low kicks, some mid punches and jabs, and try and sneak in some kind of way to knock him down. So as you can see in the beginning of the match, I'm playing very defensively. I'm trying to look for a weak point, try and take advantage of him randomly attacking and then take advantage of his blind spots by spinning around him like that and trying to do some knockdown moves, some powerful attacks like that. That was a one and two together to do that powerful palm attack or whatever it's called. And then I do some spins, feisty rabbits into the spinning kick. I don't remember all the names for the moves. And then block his jabs. And also when you get knocked down, remember what I said earlier, don't just instantly get back up. Just lie there on the ground and see what he does. And if he starts randomly jabbing at the air, then just spring up and kick him in the balls. Usually works. So right here, I do the shoulder kick into the mid kick and I accidentally failed to do the somersault move. But that would have been a great time to do the somersault combo. So what happens is, usually you end up doing some kind of face-off, like a standoff, where you're both just blocking each other's moves, and you're trying to get in a move that actually knocks your enemy down. And you want to focus on the ones and twos to do quick jabs, because your kicks are going to take too much time. So I'm just trying to poke, to try and unbalance him. And I went for kicking the ankles. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I improved a lot with my gameplay by avoiding certain things like rushing in, spamming attacks, trying to get up as soon as I could, as soon as I get knocked down. It really has improved my ability to defend myself against players. I still am having a lot of troubles fighting really good players where they just kind of bounce you all over the place. But you know, I just got to practice more. But I have gone up a level in skill thanks to these little tips and maybe they'll help you too.